Right, we've seen the images of those hoping their loved ones are still alive following the tragic events of a container uh, being swallowed by a sandhole. We're talking about what happened at Lily Mine near Barberton in Mpumalanga. Our reporter Tumelo Machoho is still at the mine and uh, he's uh, just going to give us a wrap of what's uh, been happening and of course the events that uh, happened overnight yesterday and what we can expect today. Tumelo, a good morning again to you. Uh, just, just give us an update on proceedings. I imagine not much happening this morning, but uh, uh, yesterday, what were the events that, that, that really stood out? Uh, morning, Leanne. Uh, just now, we're just seeing a lot of cars coming in. We're seeing people from Sasa. They are here to speak to the families and also to check them out because now the, the Department of Mineral Resources uh, Minister and Batabile Dlameni and also Sujan Shabangu was here yesterday uh, to also try and give support to the families that are uh, of the three miners that are still trapped underground this mine behind me. Uh, right now, they are people from Sasa, so I, I'm hoping they're going to be giving giving them a lot of support. They're going to be here to, to support the families and also to counsel them, to give them trauma counseling. Uh, they were here to give those support to them. We understand also the, the, the department also brought them food for, for children who are, who, are, who are affected by this tragedy. Uh, you would understand that uh, in the end, the only sound detection that was found uh, what, uh, was only last week Tuesday. So the they mine hasn't had any contact with the three miners. And also uh, they, they have suspended the, the, the rescue operation until uh, the 48 hours, which means only on on Thursday we would know when, uh, if the the, 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 the the rescue mission will be allowed to go underground because they're telling us that the ground are still very are still unstable, so it's very very dangerous to send rescue teams underground to start rescuing the three miners that are still trapped underground. Um, at this stage, we know that uh, the, uh, a lot of teams are being going in and out to hear the rescue mission to make sure that they, they severe the, 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 the ground because it's unstable. Even yesterday, the ground was still falling, uh, the, the, the breeze and rocks were still falling from the mine. So it's, a, it's, a, it's an intense situation. Also, it's a race against time to save the three miners because at this stage, uh, they, they, they have to, to have to have contacts because these people, they probably they didn't have water or enough water or enough food uh, on that Friday when the container fell. So at this stage they they have to 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 make sure that they rescue the people uh on time so that they find them on time but with with with, with little water and little ventilation uh, uh it's it's a race against time to find the three miners alive tomorrow the search operation i i, I believe the, the the actual um assistance that they're getting from other organizations what is it because i mean i think what we've been seeing is that this operation is bigger than what was originally thought it is. They, they are getting support from uh, a, a company that was also involved in a, in a, in a rescue mission in the 2010 uh, uh, Chile mining disaster that happened in 2010. They are also getting that support from the from the team there. They are also getting a lot of machineries from from companies that are uh, that, that 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 deals with these kind of uh, these kind of situations. But also, when we were speaking to to the to the to the CEO of the mine uh, last week, he was telling us that you know what in his 40 years career in the the mining industry has never seen a tragedy such as this one so so that's why they're bringing in a lot of people a lot of expect from rock experts to, to to other experts also to come here and make sure that they they, they rescue these miners the, uh, uh, here uh, Tomello, in terms of the support that the family are getting, what are, what are we looking at? I can imagine that uh, there must be counselling. I mean, some of the visuals that we are seeing for these family members is devastating. And they, I, 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 what do you hold on to at a time like this? What, what support are they getting? Uh, the Department of Social Development have brought social workers and also brought trauma counselors to, 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 to speak to the families. They are here, they are speaking to the families on a daily basis. They are also going to be visiting homes, going to be speaking to the children uh, uh, and also making sure, because the children are still at school, some of the children are still at school, so they need to make sure that they, they talk to children because already you know this is a big story, uh, everyone is talking about it. So obviously the children, they, 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 at, at this stage, they probably know 
people that their parents are still trapped under this mind. Th that's why they now social development is bringing the trauma counselors is bringing uh, is bringing social workers to make sure that they get enough support and also uh, the people from uh, social so from Sasa Rada they've been here also to make sure that they register the children to to make sure that also they they, they the children get enough support from them. The minor has already the minor the department has already given the minors uh, uh, enough money to to make sure that they 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 can run it, uh, they can they can have a, a little bit of money on their pockets or, or and stuff like that so that they can make sure that they 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 continue with their lives as normal while they're waiting to 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 the the, the family is still waiting for the rescue operation to resume and also to to recover uh, those three miners that are still trapped in that container underground Tumela, yeah. a, qu a question we certainly don't want to be asking, but I mean, the reality is, how long does the search go on for? Um, is, it, is it a matter of uh, the search will continue until um, the miners are found? Is, is, is that the word that we're getting in or is there a time limit to the search? Uh, they, 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 uh, the mine uh, uh, officials they were telling us that they have to, they have to work against, they have to work and make sure that they, they retrieve those three miners. So it is an ongoing search. So they have to, they, they have to return to the ground at some stage. If the ground are stable enough, they have to return because uh, the, the, the families want to see their loved ones. So want to see their, their loved ones, uh, whether they, they, they are still alive or not, but they still want to see their loved ones. And at this stage they're still calling it a rescue operation so they they, they because of the, the the situation they have to call it a rescue operation because they don't know no one knows what's going on uh, underground but they're calling it a rescue operation so they have to find those people alive they were telling us that even if it takes weeks they will have to they'll have to go back underground to make sure that they retrieve those people it's a great assurance for for the family because whichever the eventuality they they certainly do want to have some finality and some closure. Uh, Tumela, before we let you go, um, uh, what, what about, the, what about the, the, the day? What does it hold in store for us? Is it very much so the same procedure as we saw yesterday, but uh, uh, great hopes that we will actually see people going underground now with, uh, with more safety reports going through. Talk us through the procedure today. Today we know that the the, the, the people from uh, those who are still uh, assessing the, the the grounds they are here they are making sure that they assess the ground to make sure that it's stable enough. And we know that they're saying that we'll only know in about 48 hours, and that 48 hours only elapses on Thursday morning. So then we would know if they will go underground. But uh, because of the the uh, instability of the ground, the the team have to to be very very far from where the 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 the, the, the mine. Uh, the mine collapsed the way they, that mine collapsed because they have to make sure that because the, the ground is still falling and the ground is still unstable so they have to be very very far from everything to make sure that uh, they, they, they can go underground but at this stage we know that the rescue mission will come here and they will continue to, to, to assess the, the, the ground and also the families are still inside they are still uh, hoping for for, for, uh, for for anything they are hoping that the mine operation the, or the, 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 the rescue team will go into the ground today uh, but they are here they are camping out here they are sleeping here they, they are always praying you could hear them pray at, at, at every hour or so because they are hoping that their loved ones will be will be will be retrieved today or tomorrow or very very soon because they are hoping that the the, the, the rescue team will go to the ground very very soon but we know that the the, the, the teams are here we, we saw the the, the uh, one of the mine um, management uh, driving in uh, and a lot of rescue operation uh, people going in and out because they have to to, to work uh, two hours in, in between so that they can change times and they can also make sure that they they, 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 they rest also but we know that they are inside there there's uh, a lot of people coming in here uh, the, 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 the mine oper the mine officials are here every day every hour to make sure that uh, the, the, the rescue operation continues. Let's leave it there. Tumelo, thank you. Uh, we will talk to you again through the day. Tumelo Machoho, our reporter at the scene of uh, the Lily Mine disaster, something that uh, is certainly really upsetting. And as you can hear, there's a lot of emotions that uh, are amongst the community and the family members there.